Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosemary Bohan and if you're just watching my videos for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you're already subscribed, thank you for coming back to watch this video. So this video is going to be about tips on how to avoid making poor financial decisions this 2021. This is our year of securing the bag. Securing I know everyone is all about securing the bag this 2021. Everyone's all about saving. So if this is something you're interested in knowing, guys, please keep on watching this video. <music> My first tip on how to avoid making poor financial decisions this 2021 will be to make a scale of preference or your journal. Just list out things you want to get or things you feel you need. Then you begin to tick them out based on their level of importance. This way you know what you really need to get. That is things you really need to spend money on and the things that you mm, don't really need to spend money on. This way you avoid wasting money on things that you really do not need. So extra tip on this. I advise that when you are going to the market, you go along with this your scale of preference list so that when you are buying things, you don't buy things above what you budgeted for. You know when you go to the market and say, I'm going to the market to buy this bag, then you now start seeing all these fine fine things that will be entering into your eyes. Say, no, I'm not going to do that. This 2021, you are not doing that. You stick to your budget, stick to your plan, you go to the market and purchase what you The next tip will be, hmm, this year, you know that attitude of, I want it, I got it, I want it, I got it. I want it, I got it. Just stop guys, we are dropping it this year. We know, we know, yes, we know. We know you can afford it. We know you can buy it. But do you really need to buy it? Do you really need to waste money on that thing? Do you really need to purchase that, that money thing? on that fine bag or that fancy dress that you have been eyeing from that Instagram vendor? Just take a moment and ask yourself these important questions. One, if I don't buy it, will I do you will not die. We both know you will not die. We both know you will not bad die. But that bag is very fine bar. It's very fine bar. No, but two questions. Ask yourself, do I really need this bag? Eh, okay, you have the red runner B and this black one is not entering your eye bar. Ask yourself these questions though. Hmm? Of what importance is it for me? Do I really need to buy this bag? Is it, is it important or not? If your answer is yes, if your answer is no, what to do? Self is do I really need this thing? Do I really need this thing? I can't afford it, but do I really need it? You see why you don't have money this December? Because you like to buy, 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 buy. January to December, you are buy, 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 news. You are buying everywhere. Why would you be broke? <laughs> Cut it. If you, if, if you see, Seth, you just, you see, you end up seeing that on your shelves, there are new shoes, new bag, even new dresses that you haven't worn. All those money that you use in purchasing those on one clothes and on one shoes, you'd have saved it up somewhere or invested it in one business that would have yielded more fruits for you by now. Don't you think so, guys? I think so. My next step would be to save. Yes, yeah, save, 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 save. I can emphasize on this, guys. You need to save. You need to have a savings account. But this is based on your monthly income. You can either save 10 percentage or whichever percentage you can afford to save from your monthly income, be 10% or 20%, it's very advisable to save so that you have things to fall back on. Save up, guys. Save up. I'll advise that you open up another account for your savings account, and I'll advise that you do not get an ATM card for this account so that you're not tempted to what withdraw from that money. And there's also something, there's also there are also bank apps like Piggy Vest. Piggy Vest. I've used Piggy Vest before. There's an um, there's a feature on piggy Bears where you are able to lock up your money on slippers so let's say you're saving money to purchase this phone by december and you do not want to spend the money you don't want to be tempted to spend the money there's a there's a feature on piggy best where you are able to lock up this money and you'll not be able to access it until that particular time in which you have stated on the app that okay well, i want to be able to access this money by december 20 2022 or december 2021 and if you come any other time, maybe let's say you come March and you want to withdraw the money, it will not be accessible to you. Guys, think this is a nice app that you can also use to save up your money. My fourth tip would be to invest. Yes, invest in, in invest in a new business. Invest like I know everybody is investing now in forex trading. There are so many means of investments now that will read you nice profits in the long run. But my advice is, guys. Hmm, do your research or do your research very well so that you don't get scammed i know a lot of people are getting scammed of their hard end money so before you invest in any business or invest in any company at all be it forex or whatsoever make sure you do your thorough research ask your friends about it ask your parents ask for advice from your parents ask for advice from your friends and all that do your thorough research guys 
before you invest you can also start up a business like you can start up a business many people are cashing out from instagram stores you can start up a business you can start up a clothing business any business that you just feel like starting you can start it up my fifth trick which is my final trick will be to spend less time on social media guys i cannot emphasize on this enough guys the amount of hours that we waste on social media guys twitter instagram and the rest guys we is a lot like these apps are addictive like our parents say what like, social media generation we're always on our phone we're always pressing our phone our advice that we all including myself try and reduce the number of hours that we spend on social media on this social media app if you're not making money from that app if you're not an influencer or a content creator or you're not a business owner you do not have a business you do not run a business on those apps or you're not making money from the app whatsoever and you spend 12 hours 14 hours on this app guys our advice that you stop it you really 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 stop it there are so many other things so many other valuable things that work to your life our advice that during your leisure time instead of just being on social media 24 7 that you take a book to read or you register for these online courses or just do something that will be beneficial to your life. There are nice books like The Smart Money Woman by Arise Ogu. It's a very nice book. I have read it. It's very valuable to your life. I advise that you read it if you have not read it. The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren. It's also a very nice book. If you have not read it, I advise that you check it out. I Am Judging You by Lovey and Jai. It's also a very nice book. I advise that you also check it out. And there are so many other books that you can read that will add value to your life. And guys, please feel free to drop in the comment section below book that you think i would really like things that you think could be of value to me i would love to read them this year my one of my goals is to try and read one book every month fingers crossed i hope i'm able to do this all throughout the year at least one book or more or time is money time does not wait for anybody guys i advise that we all try and lessen the number of hours that we spend on these social media apps Except you're making money from it as well. So guys, I hope that with this point of mind, you've been able to take away one or two tricks on how to make wise financial decisions this 2021. I hope that this 2021 will be our year of financial breakthrough. So, Happy New Year, guys. Happy 2021. Shall be a magnificent year for each and every one of us. This shall be our best year yet.